What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel Lineage OS 18 which is based on Android version 11 is the room which I have installed right now on my device Redmi Note 9 Pro let me show you once this is my Android version 11 as you can see Lineage OS version 18 unofficial Mia tool which has a September security patch is it good enough for daily use because I'm using it from past 24 to 30 hours and it's perfectly fine here as you can see I've installed all my apps all my important apps and these are perfectly fine here is it really good to install it on a device which are the things you get here which are the things working which are things not working everything in this video I'm gonna share with you my experiences alongside with that how to install this build on a Redmi Note 9 Pro make sure to watch this video till the end and if you have any other device yes you can install GSI as always as you can see GSI's are now there which is universal so yes can be installed on any other device also but if this is a ROM and if you're using Redmi Note 9 Pro this is a room you can install directly and in this video I will share with you also like that that how you can install now let's get started okay guys first of all this is lineage os 18 so lineage os is fully aosp based room which has a tribuchet launcher pre-installed as you can see not actually the tribuchet but this is called the quick step launcher which has no option of the select all option because that's available in the pixel launcher so it does not have the pixel launcher pre-installed you can install the pixel launcher if you want to like the launcher or any other launcher which is working perfectly fine here without having any issues here you have the widgets option and also the styles and wall wallpapers option in which the UI looks very interesting by the way as expected we have the on device wallpapers option and the UI looks better now but if we go here and click on the styles and wallpapers it's full stop because of the quick step launcher and also it's in very early stage so yes it's not perfectly fine here you have to choose any other app like in my case I have this wallpaper app installed from the Google Play Store which is working perfectly fine I can apply any wallpaper from here without having any issues so no issues here here at all so you can apply them if you want to moving on to the quick settings options as you already know that we have the two by three rows in two by three settings in this latest android 11 release which has a build number option available here and you can directly move into settings if you want to the things are perfectly fine here full screen gestures etc perfectly fine as you can see i have the wi-fi connection which is perfectly working in alongside with the bluetooth and also we can add a lot of tiles if we want to like the location i can add right now from here i can add the hotspot we have the screen record option pre available here and if we choose to own that on the turn on the hotspot it's not turning on why i don't know it's perfectly fine here yes it's it is it's perfectly fine here now Wi-Fi and hotspot both are perfectly fine at once as you can see Wi-Fi and hotspot at a one as a single time this is very interesting so yes this is a very cool kind of thing that the hotspot is perfectly fine here alongside with the Wi-Fi so this is kind of interesting thing available here other things talking about if we got it let me show you one thing if we swipe down from here as you can see it has a wallpaper effect of going backward and this is a very cool feature which you only get in android 11 base rooms if you have ever review have you watched my android 11 beta video android 11 beta reviews videos you already get to know that this feature is available in android 11 beta 1 beta 2 and all the beta 3 also everywhere in the first room and this one is which i have installed on my redmi note 9 pro it's also available here Talking about the apps which I have installed right now or the default app which we get here is all the AOSP apps which were present which were expected by the way the browser calendar camera which is called the snapdragon camera which is pre-installed as expected as you can see it's a snapdragon camera which you get pre-installed as yes, you can click photos if you want to but the best part is I'm using the Gcam 7.4 which is perfectly fine here as you can see now as you can see the gcam 7.4 which i have installed right now i don't think so it is gcam 7.4 i think it's gcam 7.5 maybe yes it's gcam 7.4 this is gcam 7.4 by the lead developer parrot which is working very very fine here i can use anything if i want to let me show you one more thing that i have the google photos app installed so that's why it's opening perfectly fine from here if i go here and go to the delete from device option and choose the delete from device option from here you 
you'll see this pop up here which is the feature in Android 11 and it's very interesting feature which you get in iOS already and now it's available in Android 11 also looks kind of very very interesting thing so this is also one of the things which I liked about this Android 11 build I already shown you which other things fine here also let me show you one more thing if I go here and let me show you one thing if I go here and go to the settings option you can see my Chrome sign in is not working this is a bug which you get in this latest Android 11 lineage OS 18 build the latest sign in into Chrome is not working you have to sign in again and also that will not sync all your other things so the Chrome sign in is kind of a bug which might be solved in other upcoming builds but right now it's a bug so you have to keep this thing in mind also now let's move on to other things let me show you one more thing and here this is magisk and yes magisk is perfectly fine here i'm using this latest magisk on android 11 so magisk for android 11 is already released as i already told you so you can go and watch that review if you want to other things are perfectly fine here talking about the safety net status unfortunately it's not passed here as you can see attestation failed this is the thing which i didn't like about but there is some guys said that if you hide the magisk maybe you will get your safety net status pass so yes you can try out if you want to i don't have any banking app available as you can see and i don't need that because i have my primary device other one else so i don't need that but other one else everything else is perfectly fine here without having any issues the bugs i've already shown you the features you already know about that that this room does not come with any other extra features because it's a lineage os pure aosp experience but has very cool kind of android 11 features which has this conversation option where you can choose the priority and con modified conversations we have the notification history which is a very cool kind of an interesting things including that we have the bubbles options available which you only get in android version 11 other things are kind of a really kind of same thing no issues here at all and this is my screen on time today it's 3 hours and 20 minutes and let me show you my battery backup battery screen on time which is very interesting 4 hours and 24 minutes from 65% it's from 65% so you can see only 28% battery drainage with 4 hours and 24 minutes of screen usage screen SOT or you can say screen on time which is kind of really really interesting thing According to me, maybe you'll get some better SOT than that, but in my opinion, this is one of the great kind of things out there. You can adjust your colors also, like the natural boosted or adaptive, and almost every kind of same things. Fingerprint etc. is perfectly fine here, as you can see. I have applied the fingerprint, so fingerprint had no issues. Wi Fi, Bluetooth, everything kind of same thing. Camera is perfectly fine here, nothing to talk about here. Also, you can apply the dark theme if you want to. We have the live display option available here, adaptive brightness option is available too. So, these kind of of a very cool kind of features are out there which you can install which you can use on your android 11 running device all these kind of same things which you get here now as we already saw that which are the things you get here let's move to the installation process which are the things you need for the installation you just need a file and google apps package the link for the file and google apps package is in the description and if you're redmi note 9 pro let's move to the installation right now Guys, I'm using the pitch black recovery right now in my Redmi Note 9 Pro running device and you can also use any other custom recovery like TWRP or pitch black custom recovery. Orange Fox is not available unfortunately so we cannot install that but to install this Android 11 latest build what we need to do is first of all we have to install the LOS recovery which is lineage OS recovery. So first of all install that if you have pitch black recovery just follow my steps go to the install option right there and f uh, find out that LOS recovery in my case it's available here like this LOS recovery so I'll choose the recovery partition from here and swipe to flash it will not take that much time some errors are there that doesn't matter now it will flash the recovery image and which as you can see it's flash so volume down to reboot to lineage OS recovery now so guys this is the lineage OS recovery which we have installed right now on our redmi note 9 pro which is needed to install that android 11 build so what you have to do is you have to click on apply update option and make sure you have that file in your sd card one which is your sd card if you have an internal storage let's move it to the sd card first and f if you have an sd card then just locate your file where you have in my case it's have in rooms and files let me show you where i have right now i have here lineage with me at all i'll put the link in the description for that file so here it is lineage 18.0 
2021001 unofficial mia tool so just click here and as you can see it is starting flashing right now it will verify your update then and then it will start flashing you must have lineage os recovery available if you have any other recovery just flash lineage os recovery first then it will install or if you use a patch flag it will not install and you will you will face some errors and then it might break your device so it's better to use these steps to install this lineage os 18 right now on your device as you can see target so it's now starting flashing as you can see backing up there everything it's just starting backing up and whatever else it wanted to as we have already i'm already using this build that's why so we have not formatted anything just patching system image unconditionally it will take some time so just wait for this to happen guys in my case actually i was using the nick g apps package right now so that's why it already restored all my google apps but if you don't have that if you are clean flashing first time you have to go to sd card once again and you have to flash the google apps package as we already know about so if you have that google apps package and you have installed that everything else is fine now we don't need anything we just need to do is go back go back and here you have to select the option here let me show you so what we have to do is you have to click on factory reset option here factory first of all the factory data factory format data factory reset option choose here format data click here it will start formatting all of your data so that's why i was i said that make proper backup first and after doing all these things what we need to do is go back once and reboot your device that everything is done this was all from today's video it was very easy to install this build now this was all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video and if you have liked this don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new here thanks for watching goodbye